Are you getting the sharpest images? What is the sharpest f-stop for your camera and lens? I'll show you how to test your camera and lens for diffraction. I'll share my test results for the Fujifilm GFX 50S with both visible light and infrared filters. At the end, I'll talk about getting the sharpest images in both visible and infrared light. Are you interested in learning more about infrared photography? Check out my book, Color Doesn't Exist, a practical guide to infrared photography. It's full of details for photographers at all skill levels. A link is in the description. A couple of years ago, I took a look at diffraction, what causes it, and how it can impact the sharpness of your images. I tested the Fujifilm X-T20 and shared the results. If you'd like a deeper dive into the science of diffraction, take a look at that video. For now, let's do a short recap on what diffraction is. Image sharpness is impacted by many factors. Lens quality, sensor size, focus, depth of field, and diffraction. Diffraction is always present. It's just a matter of whether it will be visible. There are three factors that determine whether diffraction is visible. The sensor's pixel size, the lens aperture or f-stop, and the wavelength of light being captured. A single point of focused light striking a sensor appears as a central dot called an airy disk surrounded by a pattern of concentric rings called the airy pattern. If the airy disk, that central dot, is smaller than the pixel on the sensor, the diffraction is not visible. However, if the airy disk is larger than the pixel, that point of light is picked up by surrounding pixels, resulting in visible diffraction. Diffraction appears at the higher f-stop values on your lens since these narrower apertures increase the size of the airy disk. You may wish to avoid the highest couple f-stops on your lens when shooting in visible light to avoid diffraction. And finally, diffraction is impacted by the wavelength of light being captured. This is key for infrared photographers since the higher wavelengths of IR light increase the size of the airy disk. To avoid diffraction, you'll need to use lower f-stop values when shooting IR than you would with visible light. To test this on the Fujifilm GFX 50S full spectrum, I used the GF 45mm f2.8 lens and this inexpensive focus calibration chart. I shot this chart in full spectrum at each whole f-stop number. I repeated this with eight different infrared filters, 550, 590, 720, 830, 850 nanometer high pass filters, the IR chrome filter, and a hot mirror filter. Then I repeated the entire process a second time just to validate the results. I compared each f-stop to the adjacent f-stop to determine which was sharper and recorded the results. For some comparisons, this required zooming in to 200 or 400 percent to see the difference. Let's summarize the results. To test visible light, I used the STC Optics UV IR cut filter. The sharpest f-stop is f11 three stops lower than the lens maximum of f32. With the Kalari Vision IR chrome filter, the sharpest f-stop is also f11. In full spectrum, without a filter, the sharpest f-stop is f8. f8 is also the sharpest f-stop for the Kalari Vision 550, the STC Optics IRP 590, and the STC Optics IRP 720 filters. With the Hoya R72 720 nanometer filter, F5.6 and F8 are nearly identical in sharpness. With the B-plus W093 830 nanometer filter and the STC Optics IRP850 filter, which both capture only infrared light, the sharpest f-stop is F5.6. To wrap up, here are my observations. These results are consistent with my last test. For infrared high-pass filters from 550 to 720 nanometers, use one stop lower than the sharpest visible light f-stop to avoid diffraction. With my Fujifilm X crop sensor cameras, this is f5.6. With the medium format, this is f8. This should be the same with the GFX 50R, 50S, and 50S Mark II, which all use the same sensor. Results may be different with the GFX 100 sensors. With IR-only filters above 800 nanometers, the effects of diffraction are the most impactful. Use two stops lower than the sharpest f-stop in visible light to avoid diffraction. 
with my Fujifilm X crop sensor cameras, this is f4. With the 50 megapixel medium format cameras, this is f5.6. For subjects in focus, diffraction has a much greater impact on sharpness than depth of field. Each f-stop lower than the sharpest decreases sharpness only slightly due to the reduced depth of field. Using lower f-stops to decrease the depth of field won't have a major impact on sharpness. However, each f-stop higher than the sharpest decreases sharpness dramatically. I would avoid these higher f-stops unless you're explicitly looking for a soft effect or want to create a starburst effect. If you find these videos helpful on your infrared photography journey, please consider liking, subscribing, or leaving a comment. Do you have any topics related to infrared photography that you'd like to see addressed? Leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.